Hello, hello, Cancers. Welcome back. Welcome back to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel, everybody. I am the host. My name is Catherine. I'm here to bring you clarity, guidance, and love messages. I have timeless readings for all of our lovely Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is a general love reading, so please take this energy, how it resonates with your energy and with the person that is closest to you. If you are new to the channel, make sure you are subscribed. Click on the watermark in the bottom right corner of your screen. That will allow your energy to flow freely through this message and all of the messages that I bring. Also, Cancers, if you are new, make sure you have your notifications turned on and that you please go over to the new channel, Tarot Talk Live. Um, that is a new channel that I've just started. Um, so please make sure you go check that out. Um, there is a video uploaded on that channel that will let you know what all we will be um, looking at on that channel and what that channel is all about. So please go over there and check it out. Also make sure you go on the community tab on this channel and vote. There is a vote out there, you guys. We've got a poll. I want to know what you guys want to see. Um, on this channel for the first week so I am taking your votes you've got one more day to get your entries in because we are starting this week on tomorrow being that it's a holiday week we are getting started a little bit late you guys um, but we are going to get started on dreams okay so we're getting started a little bit late this week so we're going to go probably into midweek next week and then we will start each of the new series. Probably we'll pick a day that we'll start the series on, but it'll probably be like a Thursday or a Friday. All right, so I'll let you know, but make sure you please go and click on that link in the description box below or go to Tarot Talk Live um, in the description box or in the search bar on YouTube and subscribe to that channel. Now I'm going to be going live. That channel is basically a channel. Most of our um, episodes on that channel will be live. A lot of them will be. Um, some of them won't be. They'll be pre-recorded. Um, but I am going to be going live and taking question readings. So one question readings are going to be $20 and I will accept payment via Cash App. Um, and I'll be doing two question readings for $35. On cash app so I'll be doing that on a live so look out for that to come as well I will also be doing some um, just like when we hit certain milestones you guys and then I'll also do a kickoff um, episode well I'll go live for an hour and I'll take your questions for an hour first come first serve all right, each person um, can ask one question and get an answer for free. Okay, so I won't be doing it often, but when we hit certain milestones with the subscriber count, um, then yes, I will be doing that. Okay, so that's just something I wanted to give back to you guys. We'll be doing it on this channel as well, so please stay tuned for that. Keep your notifications set for all. Now, let's get started with the message, you guys. Um, please keep in mind that my readings can resonate with energy that has happened a long time ago. It could be energy that you are currently going through with your person, or this could be energy that is coming towards you. So please keep that in mind when you're listening to my readings. All right, let me finish cleansing the cards here and I'm going to start off with some oracle messages here cancer we're going to look at the hidden truth oracle and then we'll go right into the tarot and then we'll clarify and uh, depending on how the message goes we may take it into a part two um, but more than likely, they'll just be an extended for this reading. All right. Okay, let's get started. We're going to look at the oracle messages here for cancer. 
Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about cancer. What does cancer need to know today, please? Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about cancer. Okay. So we have... I replay our conversations over and over and I couldn't let you get close to me. Tell me about cancer, please. we have I don't react when people mention you and you were the best thing in my life hmm. tell me about cancer please tell me about cancer please Holy Spirit okay hmm we have I look for you everywhere and I know that I crossed the line with you under the deck I love you we need to let each other go I am becoming a better person and I can't stop thinking about you so obviously, Cancer, we have an energy of somebody who is missing someone, okay? And it's not just missing somebody. This is somebody who did something that they are feeling very shameful about. Um, this is somebody who is basically being haunted by the person that they did this to, Um they're feeling very guilty, um, cancer, and they're going through some changes and transitions. I do feel like this is an energy of someone who has just recently let you go, um, but this person is still very much in love with you. So there's a lot going on right now here, but we're going to break this down and then we'll look at the tarot. Um, but with the, I replay our conversations over and over and I couldn't let you get close to me. I feel like there's an energy of somebody who, um, somebody you used to talk to often cancer. This could have been a friend, um, somebody who confided in you. Um, but I feel like there's an energy of this person never really opened up to you in a way where there was like a real relationship so I don't feel like you ever had a real relationship with this person it could have been somebody like somebody you considered to be like a play brother or a play sister you know somebody you really cared about um you never went there with this person like in a relationship um but I feel like it's because you talked to this person about people that you dated and this person talked to you about people that they dated. So there was an energy of you never could really get close to this person like that, but you had shared some very sensitive conversations with this person. Now, when I don't react when people mention you and you were the best thing in my life, I feel like there's an energy of this person is feeling some type of way um, but they don't want other people to know cancer I feel like this is somebody who like I said I feel like this could have been a friend um, a confident or a mutual friend cancer and I feel like you know there could be an, an energy of someone else is in a, a relationship and you know that you shouldn't be feeling this way about this person but this person is the only person you were able to really connect with in the past cancer um 
but I look for you everywhere and I know that I crossed the line with you. I feel like there's an energy of something happened between you and this person um, and maybe this person made a pass at you or you made a pass at this person um, without thinking about it and this person left or there's some distance. I feel like there's something that happened and it made this person uncomfortable and you have not spoken to this person since it happened. Um, and it must have been pretty bad here because with I love you and we need to let each other go, I feel like there's an energy of this person is realizing that um, they crossed the line. Whatever they did, they can't come back from that. Hmm. But this person is... Um, very sorry for whatever they did. I feel like this person is getting some sort of help here with I'm becoming a better person. I don't know what this person did, Cancer, but whatever it was, it was pretty awful. And with somebody crossing the line, I could only imagine what that could be. And for you to just disappear on this person, like I said, it had to be pretty bad, whatever it was that this person did. So I don't know if they made like an advance at you that was unwanted and this person, you know, didn't take no for an answer. And maybe you had to push this person away or fight this person off cancer. I'm not sure. But we're going to look at the tarot and see. What's happening? Tell me about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about cancer. So we have the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Swords, Aries, Sag, Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Tell me about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Tell me about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. And we have the chariot in the reverse. Uh-oh. And the Seven of Cups. Can strong Cancerian energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Mm, I don't like that chariot in the reverse right there. Especially with this Queen of Wands and this Eight of Swords. We'll talk about it in just a second. Tell me about Cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. And we have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse and the Seven of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Oh, wow. Under the deck, we have the Hanged Man with the Four of Pentacles. Wow. And the devil, oh my God, and the seven of wands. Cancer, I was afraid of this. And there you are, the queen of cups here in the distance with the nine of pentacles and the five of swords. Mm. And the world, oh my God. Cancer. We're going to keep this over here for a second. Because you're healing right now and you're in pre-empress energy with that five of swords and the world cancer, you know, there's an energy of a serious confrontation and there was an ending here. Like you left this person, but there was a, definitely a conflict. There was an energy of someone who was intimidating, someone who was bullying you cancer with the devil and the seven of swords. This is an energy of somebody who was 
you know, being very obsessive with that seven of wands. I'm sorry, seven of wands, Cancer. This is somebody that you had to fight off of you. You had to fight this person off. With the hanged man and the four of pentacles, Cancer, there's an energy of this person. Like you were stalling this person or you were kind of pushing this person away or trying to protect yourself or hold back from this person. But with that devil energy, Cancer, it's like they didn't take no for an answer. I am trying to tell you these cards are not going to lie. Oh, my God. And the chariot, Cancer, let's just go back here in the past energy here with that queen of wands. This is someone who is very charming, um, someone who is very attractive. Um, and I feel like you were very attracted to this person or they were very attracted to you, Cancer. But with that eight of swords here, there's an energy of this person felt as though they were blocked or you were blocking this person. I feel like you kept a wall around yourself or you protected yourself in a way from this person or you shielded yourself. There was something that this person felt like they couldn't get to you. Okay. Um, definitely feel an energy like this person was very, very extremely attracted, um, had a high sexual attraction to you, but they felt like they... Like you were blocking them, Cancer. The chariot in the reverse. This represents someone being forceful. This represents somebody forcing themselves, Cancer. And with that seven of cups here, this is an energy of someone who it's like this person is used to having a lot of options and being able to just take whatever they want. Or being able to just choose and get what they want, Cancer. And I feel like you told this person no. And with that Six of Pentacles in the reverse, this is somebody who is taking advantage. This is somebody that has control over their person or some sort of an unfair dynamic. And that Seven of Pentacles represents an energy of someone who is trying to um, who wants someone to wait, Cancer. It's like you're trying to tell this person not right now, but with that Six of Pentacles, this person is going to get what they want whenever they want it. And uh, I feel like this is an energy. This could have been like a date uh, situation where things went, took a turn um, and they went wrong, very, very wrong here. Cancer, but again, I feel like with that Queen of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, like you are healing from this, you are away from this person. Nine of Pentacles, pre Empress, with the world and the Five of Swords, like you, you got away from this person, Cancer. You got away from this person. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize what I was stepping into here. But this was a date cancer that went bad you you told this person no and they felt like they could get whatever they wanted or they could have whatever they wanted and they went for it cancer and it was definitely a problem so let's go ahead and clarify here let's see tell me about this queen of wands energy here for cancer holy spirit angels and guides tell me about the queen of wands and the eight of swords and we have the fool and this is someone who took a risk cancer um this is an energy of someone who is very emotionally immature um they do what they want to do and i feel like despite whatever you told this person despite you telling this person no this person did what they wanted to do and with the six of swords under the deck cancer this is you having to get away from this person in a hurry six of swords talks about someone who is departing from a situation that is stressful um dangerous causing them distress in any sort of way um, this person forced you to have to leave. I feel like this was, could have been the first date. 
that you had with this person. Okay, Knight of Wands here, Cancer. You had to fight back. You had to fight this person off of you. Tell me about the chariot in the reverse and the seven of cups. Yeah, we have the six of pentacles, Cancer. This is somebody who's used to getting everything they want. They are used to getting everything they want, Cancer. They are not used to taking no for an answer. Nine of wands under the deck. This person was very persistent, Cancer. And with that two of swords in the reverse, Cancer, under the deck. I don't have any reversals in this deck. None. None. So why is this two of swords in the reverse? Why? The two of swords in the reverse represents, an, again, an energy of somebody who's not going any, anywhere. They're not. Somebody is saying no, and this person is not taking no for an answer. Nine of wands, two of swords in the reverse. They are being persistent. They are going to get what they want, regardless of whatever this person says, Cancer. And I felt like this person definitely crossed the line here. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles in the reverse and the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Pentacles here, Pre-Empress Energy Cancer. You are now doing what's best for you. You have walked away from this person. You left this person. You ghosted this person here. Page of Swords Energy. You know, there's an energy of this person is anx anxious or there's an energy of this person um, maybe asking questions, trying to find out where you are. Page of Swords is an energy of somebody who's asking questions. Look, King of Cups. This is somebody who is distance from their person. They have been separated. And with that Page of Swords, all they can do is ask questions. See, Ten of Cups, they are asking friends, family. They're trying to find out where you are, Cancer. So I feel like I don't trust this energy here, especially with that devil here. And the Seven of Wands, this is an energy of someone who you may have to fight off of you or you may have to get some order of protection from this person because it's like they are not going away. And we need to let each other go, Cancer, with that Four of Pentacles. Perfect energy. This is coming from you with that Hanged Man, Cancer. And I love you and the hanged man. You are definitely stalling this person and trying to um, push this person away. So I feel like there's an energy of this person is coming back in. Or you may have to get some sort of order of protection here. Um, but let's see. Tell me about the hanged man, please, and the four of pentacles. We got the ace of pentacles and the ten of swords, cancer. You are moving on to new opportunities here. And with that Ten of Swords, there's an energy of, you know, you've broken up with this person. You have walked away from this person. You're moving towards something new, something better, something long term, something you can trust, Cancer. Because with that Ten of Swords, like this person completely betrayed you. Ten of Swords also represents someone who's been victimized here. So this person completely victimized or made a situation that caused you to feel like a victim. And the Ace of Pentacles represents security. So you're moving towards a situation that you feel more safe and more secure, Cancer. You may have to get a order of protection. Under the deck, the devil. See? This is what I'm trying to tell you. And the Five of Wands, Cancer. I do not trust this person. The Queen of Swords. Neither do you. And there's that Four of Pentacles here to end it. See what I'm saying, Cancer? These cards pop for us. You can't get it anywhere else like you get it right here. Okay? It's going to clarify it for you all the way to the wire. There's the Four of Pentacles here. And it stops right here. And here you are, Cancer. You do not trust this person. You know why? With the devil and the five of wands, this person is not to be trusted. Devil, this could be a Capricorn. Um, but this is an energy, again, of this person is um, extremely controlling, very possessive. Um, 
and that seven of wands again you just i see you fighting this person um having to fight this person off of you tell me about this devil please and the seven of wands and we have the five of cups cancer this is an energy of this person is very upset about the way things went they feel like they lost you this person has been grieving and they feel like they lost you they regret it and cancer you know with the five of wands here again and the queen of swords you are going to have to fight this person off of you with the four of pentacles again cancer it's not going away this you are definitely having to protect yourself from this person um tell me about the queen of cups and the nine of pentacles please we're definitely going to take this into a part two and we have the four of cups cancer you are definitely separated from this energy you are not accepting anything this person has to say if they come back in cancer you are avoiding this person like the plague with the hermit energy cancer you are definitely pulling back you have gotten to a place where you can take time out and think about where you know you stand and you are not interested in ever 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 connecting reconnecting with this person again they put you through so much and there you are again queen of cups you are healing now cancer you are healing you have separated from this narciss narcissist and this dangerous person tell me about the five of swords and the world you are not interested in going back and we have judgment cancer this is final do you see what i mean these cards are not going to lie to you, me, anybody else. This is you reckoning. This is awakening. This is you being done. This is a final decision. This is you evaluating yourself, evaluating what you did in the past, what this person did, Cancer, with the Four of Wands under the deck, Temperance. You are moving, and the Magician, Cancer, you're moving towards healing yourself. You are committed to healing. You are committed to manifesting. You are committed to being successful. You are committed to being the master magician manifester that you are. So I definitely don't see you going back to this energy, but we are going to um, look at the energy on for the other person to see what's going on but I definitely see this person being very forceful and uh, they're definitely going to try to come back in cancer so we'll take it into a part two and uh, if it's going to be an extended you know where the link is going to be in the description box below I love you guys so much and I'll see you back soon bye